Dear Reader, I'm Tony, and this is Book Text. Today is an announcement video for something that I am helping with, but first, our word of the day is the word armicinous. This is an adjective, it's obsolete, and it's rare, even when it was used back in its time. But it's an adjective describing the sound of armor, which I think is kind of cool. We didn't have a word for that otherwise, armicinous. All right, so today I am announcing that I'm helping with a, another Booktubers uh, readathon, March of the Moderns, hosted by Margaret Pinard, and obviously I will link to her announcement video below. But basically, this is just a celebration of writers and books between uh, 1901 and 1945 from anywhere in the world. Um, all you have to do to participate is read a book published in that time period during March. Uh, buddy reads are definitely encouraged and actually Margaret has put together a wonderful spreadsheet where you can sign up for buddy reads, which I will also have linked in the description, which I think is a really unique way to organize buddy reads. So there will also be a bingo card uh, with 16 squares, therefore 10 ways to win. And we'll be putting that, obviously announcing it in our videos but also on Instagram. So I will link to both my Instagram and Margaret's Instagram. And a random winner from the, from the bingo cards will receive a book package from Persephone Books. Because I believe that Persephone was the inspiration for Margaret kind of putting together this, this readathon. Um, if you're anything like me, you probably already have books from this time period in your TBR. And this is just a great excuse to prioritize those. So you may be thinking a few things. There's a lot of readathons already going on in March. Well, you can combine these, and I have a few ideas on how to do that. You can combine with March of the Mammoths, announcement videos linked below, because Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell is over 800 pages and was published in 1936. Or The Foresight Saga by John Galsworthy also over 800 pages, was published in 1921. Maybe you are participating in Middle Grade March, announcement videos linked below. You can combine with Middle Grade March. There was actually a surprising amount of kind of older children's books. Um, middle Grade was not necessarily a, a category of, of book at this time period, but definitely we have since categorized these books as Middle Grade. Um, but there was a lot of people writing in this time period. Anne of Green Gables was published in 1908, so you could read things by Ellen Montgomery. You can read things by Frances Hodgson Burnett, uh, who wrote Secret Garden in 1910 and Little Princess in 1905, so those fit within the time period. A. A. Milne published in this area. He wrote Winnie the Pooh in 1926. Laura Ingalls Wilder was publishing in this era. Little House came out in 1932. See, this is, this is like surprising to me. Beatrix Potter wrote in this era. J.M. Barry wrote in this era. P.L. Travers, who wrote Mary Poppins in 1934. And T.H. White wrote Sword of the Stone, or the Once and Future King series, in the 30s. So we've got a great way to combine some of these readathons if that's something that you're worried about. My personal approach, and I will have a TBR later this month, but my personal approach will be to combine with Women's History Month by reading only women. Uh, writers. So some suggestions of, of women writing in this time period. Winifred Holtby, one of my absolute favorites, and her best friend Vera Britton. Angela Thurkle, Agatha Christie, Willa Cather, Zora Neale Hurston, Edith Wharton, Gertrude Stein, Virginia Woolf, Pearl S. Buck, Eudora Welty, Rumor Godden, Betty Smith, and the list goes on. But those are some examples of things you could read if you wanted to take the same approach. I thought I would share a couple of suggestions of books that I've read recently in from this era, just to give you some ideas if you're thinking about participating. So my probably favorite book that I read last year was South Riding by Winifred Holtby. It's basically 1930s Middlemarch. It focuses on a county in England and it takes both a telescopic look, meaning kind of like stepping back and looking at all of the kind of political machinations of this town and this era, uh, area, and also a very intimate look at some of the, the characters and their, their personal trials, their personal triumphs. 
I loved it. was really surprised by it. You could also read Summer by Edith Wharton. That's, this is one I read last year as well. And it's the story of a young woman who is trying to figure out really who she is um, as she's experiencing this kind of new relationship. And I, I really enjoyed this. It was uh, definitely in the earlier uh, part of 1901 to 1945, but it, it was a good Edith Wharton and a quick read. You could read Willa Cather's Alexander's Bridge. This was a fascinating short book um, about a man who is carrying on an affair across the ocean. And there's some great symbolism. He is trying to engineer this massive bridge and things start to fall apart for him. Was really impressed by this. I also recently read my first Angela Thurkle book, High Rising. Um, and I do recommend this series. It's very funny. Um, it does take a, a look at some of the quirky things in small towns in England uh, in the 1920s and 30s. Really enjoyed this. If you're into short stories, you might try Catherine Mansfield. Um, this I read, I think last year as well. Um, this one is The Garden Party and Other Stories. She did not write very much because she died quite young, uh, but but her short stories are fascinating. They're really good to read quickly, but you get a lot out of them. There's a lot of depth, there's a lot of character and, and a lot of heart. So I love Catherine Mansfield. So there's some suggestions. We are looking for more suggestions of writers from outside of America and England who, who published between 1901 and 1945. So if you have suggestions, please drop them in the comments and, and we'll be looking at that. Um, there's a whole slew of links to, to other resources in the description below, so please take, take a gander. I hope you'll be joining us for March of the Moderns next month. Remember, there's always another book.